When proof testing the Rosemount 5408 SIS non-contacting radar transmitter, there are several third-party assessed and approved options available that can all be done remotely without taking the device out of service. Here we will look at how to perform the remote comprehensive proof test option B with an 84% proof test coverage of the dangerous undetected failures. For the Rosemount 5408 SIS, this means we have 13 failures in time remaining after the test is performed. During the proof test, the transmitter will not output measurement values corresponding to the product surface level. Ensure systems and people relying on measurement values from the transmitter are made aware of the changed conditions. Start by identifying the Rosemount 5408 SIS transmitter that should be proof tested and make sure that no alarms are active in the device. Bypass the process safety function and take appropriate action to avoid a false trip. Simulate the 4 milliamp output and verify loop current by checking the analog output from the safety logic solver. The current deviation should be within the allowable safety deviation. This procedure is then repeated to simulate a 20 milliamp output. And you can select stop to end the loop test. The final step is to perform a two-point level measurement verification of the transmitter. Compare the measured values of the Rosemount 5408 SIS transmitter with an independent level measurement and verify that the value is within the allowable safety deviation. For the second measuring point, the surface needs to be moved at least 10% of the full measuring span before the comparison can be repeated. Remove the bypass and restore to normal operation. The comprehensive proof test is now complete. For more information, please visit our homepage.